In this tutorial, we're going to improve the usability of our form for the students. I'm going to open my student's form. Um, now, I've actually removed the section that allows you to enter the ID of the class. Uh, if you remember from before, uh, what we've done is we've set up a relationship between the students and the class's tables such that um, the students belong to a class. So we need to have an identifier in the database that lets uh, it know uh, which class a student belongs to. Uh, now what I'm going to do is switch to the um, design view and we're going to add it in here where I've removed the simple form where you had to manually enter the ID of the other field because that's not very user friendly. Uh, instead what we're going to do is we're going to create a drop down box. If you come to the top uh, and select the one that says combo box. Um, I'm just going to click it out here and this will open the combo box wizard. Um, what we want to do is we want to get the values from another table because effectively what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve all the values from the classes table and display them and then whichever one you select write the ID of that field into the table. Okay so the table of query providing the, uh, the values is going to be the classes table. Uh, we want to put both of the fields in because we're going to be using the ID field to write and we want to display the class name. If we come next this then lets you sort the order you want the uh, items listed so we want to sort them by class name and we're going to leave it as ascending so it will start with one two three etc uh, click next uh, we're going to have the key column hidden because we don't want to display the idea it's just going to distract the end user so make sure this is ticked and you can see it gives you a preview here this is what it's going to display um, and what we're going to do here uh, it says Microsoft Access and store the selected value or remember it so you can use it later. We don't want to remember it. What we want to do is store the value in the class ID field because that is the field that holds the foreign key in this table. You can give it a name. I'm just going to finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually place it into this structure. So I'm going to hover on the edge and drop it there and it's going to move it up. I'm now going to save my table. Um, and then if we go back to the form view down here, you can see that the combo box has appeared. Now, it's got a pretty awful name, but then so did these other ones. So I could improve this by going back to the design view and then double-clicking and renaming it. Here, I'm not going to say class ID because it literally is the class. Uh, we can fix this because at the moment it's displaying them as we hold our fields in the database. I'm going to save that again and come back to this mode. Now you can see when we want to write someone in, create a new record, put in their first name and the surname. And then for the class, what the user needs to do is select, and this is much more user friendly. I'm now going to write that in. As you can see, if we go back, year eight, year 10. And if we look at the uh, actual um, student's uh, table, you can see that it's actually written in the class IDs correctly. So Bill Thomas there, class ID 2. If you look at the classes, ID 2 is year 8.